In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can boost your FPS and performance by doing 10 quick tips to boost your FPS in Fortnite on your low-end PC and laptops. So, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. Go into your system settings. Go into about. Head into the advanced system settings. Click performance settings and then individual effects. Select the adjust for best performance option. This setting right here will do exactly what it says. It basically adjusts your effects and animations to increase performance on your PC. However, I don't recommend doing what Windows is telling you guys to do right here, and that's turn all of them off. What you guys want to do is select the following few that I've turned on, as this will pretty much improve the readability of your Windows. Things like smooth edges on screen. Fonts needs to be enabled. Tip number two, change power plan for this. You want to head back into your system settings. Then you want to head into the power and sleep tab. On the left hand side, you then want to click on additional power settings on the right hand side. And then you guys should select the high performance power planner option. By selecting this power plan option right here, guys, it'll change how your PC's power is managed by Windows, which will make it obviously more performance based than it was previously. And that in turn will give you a slight performance boost in all the games that you play. But do bank guys that this will obviously increase your PC's power consumption overall. Tip number three, disable transparency effects to the table. The transparency effects in Windows 1.0. You wanna go into the personalization settings. You wanna click on the colors tab. And then you wanna switch off the short transparency effects button. This small change right here guys will surprisingly improve your responsiveness Tip number for uninstall unused apps slash tools and programs. For this tip, go into your app settings and select the programs slash applications that you'd like to uninstall. And then simply press the uninstall button on all of the blockware, all the apps, and all the unwanted programs that you guys never used. And the only waste and space slash resources on your computer. Just go ahead and get rid of them guys. It's literally as easy as click on the app, like I'm gonna do here on iTunes. And literally uninstall it. As you can see, I haven't used this app in about 4 years. It's pretty pointless that it's even on my system. So, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid. Tip number 5, disable startup apps. To do that right there guys, select the app setting again. Then click on the startup tab on the left. And in here, simply sort by. Startup impact and toggle off any application that is not a priority. Especially those that are marked as high impact, like I'm doing right here on screen. Just go through a few of them guys and untake any that aren't a priority. And I can guarantee that your system will see some sort of improvement. Tip number six, disable game bar for this. Go into the gaming settings and switch off that main Xbox game bar setting, as well as that guy. If you wanna go into the background recording settings, that's found in the tab below all captures and you want to turn that setting off as well by turning these two settings off guys you'll be increasing your fps by about 10 to 15 fps in all games as you'll no longer have that game bar recording in the background usually this set in on its own in that bad also as a bonus tip for this be sure to enable the hardware acceleration gpu schedule and set in by heading into the graphics settings on the left turn it on and then i recommend selecting the game that you want the set in to work best with. For me, it's obviously got to be Fortnite. So, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and Fortnite select from Barter Ectory. Half what this setting will do, for is it will reduce your system's latency. And in turn, improve performance. Tip number seven, enable game mode to do this. Head back into the gaming settings bit. Click on gear mode, and then simply turn on the gear mode setting. And that obviously, in turn guys, will improve your FPS drastically. Tip number eight ease of access for this tip simply head into the ease of access set in and disable the following options you want to disable short animations in windows short transparency in windows auto hide scroll bars in windows and short desktop background image by disabling voice for options right there guys you'll be stopping them from utilizing some of your pc's power but no longer be able utilize to utilize any of that anymore as now they're all disabled tip number nine Disabled privacy settings. For this, you want to go into your privacy settings. You want to go general. And you want to turn off the following for settings. Shown on screen right here. You want to turn these off guys. Because Windows 
slash Microsoft are straight up tracking and spying on you if you have the following sentence turned on, which right there is obviously bad for your own privacy as well as your computer's performance as well. Tip number 10. Turn off background applications. For this final tip, right here guys, it's nice and simple. All you've got to do is head back into the privacy settings. And once again, you want to whack this setting off. By doing this, you'll be preventing any sort of unnecessary background app, such as the Windows calculator and alarms, from running in the background, which was surprisingly again, they actually take up some of your PCs performance. I'm not even joking. But yeah guys, overall those are 10 different optimization tips in Windows 10 that should improve your FPS in Fortnite Battle Royale. Be sure to give them all a go guys and let me know in the comments section below how you get on and how much they improve your FPS. So yeah, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.